Welcome to Willard Public Library's Virtual Crafter Noon. For our May episode, we're going to be making these easy and beautiful paper cup florals. As always, craft kits for this project are available at the Adult Services Desk at Willard Public Library while supplies last. Each kit includes one three ounce paper ice cream cup, but you can use practically any small paper cup for this project. It will also include about 75 to 80 two inch paper squares for the petals. If you're doing this project at home, I highly suggest using just regular thin paper instead of thick cardstock. You will also need to gather up some glue, either liquid glue or a glue stick is fine, and a pair of scissors. Start by carefully poking a hole in the bottom of your paper cup. Then proceed to rip out the base just like this. It doesn't have to be pretty. Next, you're going to want to fold each of your paper squares in half diagonally. Then using your scissors, round off that top corner. Continue this process over and over again. If you want to, you can layer your papers on top of each other and do a couple at a time. Now you're ready to start assembling your flower. Now this is very important, but for your first layer, you're simply going to lay the fold of your petal onto the edge of the cup, just like this. No glue involved. Now that you have your first unglued layer down, you're gonna take your glue and put a small line around the top of those petals. I'm using a little too much glue here, honestly. You don't need much. Layer more petals on top and just continue with that same process. You may start to get bored with the layering, but trust me, it's worth the wait. After a while, you should notice that the center of your flower is getting smaller and smaller. At this point, I decided to add in some darker purple petals just to give my flower a little more dimension. You can do whatever you want. Once the center of your flower is nearly filled in and your glue has had a chance to dry, it's time for the big reveal. Shimmy your paper cup out of the flower and voila, there you have it. Spruce up your flower with a few green leaves or you could even use that paper cup as a flower pot. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching.